I got the exhaust out. I think these are probably worth some, so I'll save these. The rest of the exhaust has holes in it and whatnot, so let's undo that connector. And I got the engine out. Kind of fell. But now I realize how am I going to get the rear axle over when I pull this out. So that'll be interesting. Over there's a pump house of my uncle's. He's going to uh, drag this over there because he's got electricity there so I can cut it. I had to cut part of the steering, which I didn't want to do, but evidently where the bolt and uh, the joint is, it kind of melted together somehow over time, I guess, and it would, I tried hitting with a sledgehammer, I couldn't get it apart after I took the bolt off, and uh, that was some of the thickest areas I couldn't really cut through, so I had to cut through there. I uh, guess I'm not going to be able to save a lot of the steering sway bars and whatnot, but yeah. Make it do what it do, baby. Got the steering box off. And it's in the back of my truck. With the brake booster. My pastor. Well, I got this side cut off. As you can see. So now that side. I'm hoping once I cut off the other side, I can just drive away with my truck. And this will come unhooked. I did the bolt. The bolt's off of down here, so it should just pull out, I think. If not, I'll have to cut this. Which I don't want to, because I don't even know why I don't want to cut it. I think it might be worth something, I'm not sure. Now the other side. I'm going through blades pretty fast. Both sides are cut. Hopefully I could just there you go, that came out perfectly. Just drive off of this. Most of that scrap, except for tires, any type of brake assembly I might need, or spindle assembly. Ask some friends if they need any. I cut the horn I needed off of uh, the truck. And that will be for the, uh, where uh, the other one bent up in the rack, so that's the horn. I cut these pieces of metal off uh, as a brace I can put on. Well, I dropped the gas tank. That was a job. I guess those are patches or those are just pieces of cloth to keep it from rubbing on the metal. I don't know. To make a spark, that would probably be bad. I cut right there on the top and the bottom, then all the way through on this side. Because now I'm going to fold it in. i got to get a hammer, so I'm going to hit that one and go down. So it folds in neatly. I got all my cuts made, and I feathered the metal down with a hammer. Bottom and all sides. This is what I got so far. Ugh, I don't want to have to cut off all these things, but it looks like I might. At least the ones on the inside. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Great if I could just cut these bolts, but grinder would have to be at a difficult angle. And then they connect. See, they connect on the sides too. Crap. I've been cutting along this one. And uh, hopefully I won't have to cut the bottoms. Maybe I can make them overlap or something. I might have to cut here where it's rolled steel. And then cut this way. And then I can save that piece and just run a bolt through both of them to hold them in place. Although I'm going to have to get rid of all this crap right here. I don't know if you guys can see the smoke, but my grinder's died. And I really love this grinder. Got at Fred's. It served me for about two years. And uh, I got a spare one, but the spare one's crap. Not that it's, you know, not new or anything. It's just it doesn't have as much RPMs to cut metal. <sighs> so it's truly a great grinder. Maybe I could save its gearbox or something and put it on the other one. I don't know. Because it smells like the engine's dead because you can smell it in the air. So I'm going to go home and get my better grinder. Well, my guess best grinder now. Better than not working. This is what I got. I had to work it dark and the camera won't work so I didn't get to film it. But uh, there's one bolt through. See how it still moves and stuff? Right there. I need to put a brace here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this right here with the angle wire to make it line up, bend this back up, and weld it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that on the bottom pieces too or just the tops. Take some metal, stretch it across because this is real wobbly. I don't like that. But I have a 2 inch receiver. I had to go get a new grinder last night. 
quarter cable, um, uh, 7.5 amps, very powerful. Uh, I think it's about $40, which is good, not too expensive. That was my first weld. Not the prettiest, but it was about an inch gap I had to fill with metal, so pretty good. That was my second weld. Probably about as ugly as the other one. About to weld this piece, piece in place to add strength. Make sure it doesn't bend or anything. I pounded it around so it's kind of rolling there. Pretty good. Well, I cut a rectangle out of this piece of metal here, not the, it's not the horn I need, it's the left side, right side horn for the bumper to mount on so I, I can, you know, cut up for parts and bracing and I welded it here. Those are some pretty nice welds. <laughs> it took me 10 rods to do that, 10 welding rods to do all that welding, but now it's pretty damn stiff. That's pretty good. I wonder if I can get a rod down there between those two pieces of metal, but I can't grind it as a thing. It's I can't put anything in there to grind it. I might try to weld in there, but I don't, I don't think it'll work because it's not grinded metal. Well, at least I could do it from the underside. Flip the trailer over and do it. I ran two bolts through this, and this one was turning, so I welded just a little bit there. It's probably not even going to stay. That's just a slag. So that kind of holds it. I tighten this, I double bolted it, that way it doesn't slip or anything. Now I think I'm going to weld here, 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 and here, fill in these holes, although I didn't grind that first, which mistake, but then I think I will file the nuts. <laughs> Is that right? I think I'll uh, put a little weld on the thread to keep the, you know, them from backing off, weld them together or something like that. Weld all that up, and then maybe if I can get some time, I'll flip this over and weld up inside here. Looks like it works. <coughs> Everything's good and welded. Put weld on the threads, keep the bolts from backing up. There's some holes here I filled in with weld. It's welded generally everywhere. I say it's good enough to move it. Uh, when I get a chance, I would like to flip over the frame and get on the other side of that put an air plate like this on the other side, fully box it all the way up and down. Put some cross members in between here, going to there. That'd be nice <coughs> for extra stability. <coughs> so far pretty good. I still got all the wiring to the lights. I don't know if I could reuse that or not. <laughs>